these are individuals who have purchased the insider code and are privy to the trading tactics in my mentality and my methodologies. Uh, oh, if, I'm sorry, he continued. If so, we will have the opportunity to obtain capital from the insider code trading system to invest in order to become part of the... Okay, none of that applies. Uh, I have an account with Thinkorswim broker prior to getting your course and thought I tried to use it while opening some of the accounts you suggested in the course. To make a long story short, enclose the transaction detail report of my question to you seeking your advice on how to handle this. Uh, for sure, I'll transfer all my money to either MB Trading or Interbank. I just don't feel comfortable with Think or Swim any longer. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, look at your transaction reports. Uh, I cannot give you individual advice about your particular accounts or positions. I ended up ex exiting the last position since... Uh, yeah, Melissa, she might, must have cut that question off. I uh, apologize for that. Let me just delete it. Uh, next question is about time frames. Uh, Interbank FX, please make sure you call your broker, whoever you signed up with, and ask them what they're using. Um, uh, to be candid about it, I am not clear. I'm not clear whether, whether MetaTrader uses universal coordinated co time, uh, as this person is saying here, or if they use some form of daylight savings. Okay, I don't know. That's why I use Eastern time. <laughs> I don't try and get into figuring out all these time zones because it can be confusing. However, you really de do need to know that. Okay, so call your broker, ask them, Find out what the schedules are. Make them give you the information uh, because it's critical. That's critical information. Uh, my MetaTrader does not have the moving average indicator in either place. I had to go to custom to find moving averages, and it gave me a different pop-up. Uh, do I have a new version of MetaTrader? Uh, it is. It's not, it's not necessarily a new version. For some reason, they did move the menu. Let me get my, uh, my demo uh, trader here. Okay, what you want to do is go to Inserts, Indicators, Trend, Moving Average, and that will give you uh, the same uh, the same window uh, that I have on the course. Again, go up to Insert. Okay, it's on on the on the uh, title bar next to File View. Then go to Insert, and then you want to click on Indicators. It's right there at the top. Okay, Insert Indicators. When this pop-up window comes out, you want to go down here to Trend. Okay, you can see there's a little arrow over here indicating that there's more of a menu. Uh, once you go to that, another menu will pop up, and you are concerned about moving average. So you want to click on that, and that will bring up uh, the the correct the correct menu to uh, to input the moving average. Sorry, I'm I'm fading. Uh, it's it's well past my lunchtime here. Okay, tape number two: risk and losses. Understand the three percent rule. Confused a bit on the mini. PIP at $1. Uh, then mini equals 30. Too many lots equals two, $2 times 30 pips equals $60. Uh, I know this is my calculated loss on a $2,000 investment. 10 micro lots then equals one mini. That's correct. So if you can trade t two mini lots, you can trade 20 micro lots. That's also correct. Uh, understand the two to one risk, however, not clear on how to calculate it. Then I've got to tell you, you don't understand it. The two to one risk... Uh, and I'm chuckling because Charles, who I was on the phone with today, uh, was saying that uh, you know he understood that and uh, would kind of chuckle to himself when when people would ask questions about that. Let's say I'm looking to get into a long trade right here. Okay, I've got to be aware that there's resistance here, which may stop the overall move completely. So what I need to do is measure my entry point, which say is this line, and connect it to the high over here and figure out is that a two to one risk. Now, again, it's not that this is some kind of set in stone. Every trade, you know, some traders pound the table. I only take three to one trades. That's ridiculous. You have no idea if a trade is going to be three to one, two to one, or if you're going to wind up risking five times what you could have made. We only know that a trade was a two to one when it's over. 